Hey everybody, it's Brett here with Tampa Marine Tuning, and today we're at our good friend Captain Sergio Attain's studio, and we're going to be talking a little bit about really what tuning is and how it works. A lot of you guys are unaware your boats can even be tuned, or really how any of this works. It's kind of complicated, so we're here to kind of simplify that, demystify it, make it easy to understand, and get you excited about tuning your boat. We'll also do some frequently asked questions that are going to be the result of learning how this stuff actually works. So let's get started. So many of you are probably well aware of how engines work and how these outboards work, but some of you may not be. So let's take it and break it down really quickly. So at its simplest form, engines need fuel, air, and spark to get this done, right? So our ECU's main things it's going to be focused on is the air that's coming in, opening an injector to mix fuel with that air, and then lighting that mixture with a spark plug. Now, when it lights it inside the cylinder, it's gonna drive a piston down, creating horsepower and torque. Now that power is gonna be transitioned into your lower unit that will eventually spin your prop. So the more power our engine's making, the harder we're spinning a prop, the faster we can go, things of that nature. We're gonna be making things more efficient, so it's gonna be saving fuel as well. So as far as the development side of these tunes work, what NISPRO is gonna do is they're gonna take an engine and they're gonna take the highest output tune that it comes with from the factory. And we're gonna start with that. So in our V6 example, let's say they're, they're tuning a 200 or a 250. They're gonna take a 300 tune. And then from, that, from there, we could just stop there and say, oh, well, you make 300 now. We're gonna optimize the settings. So the fuel settings, the spark settings, throttle settings, variable camshaft settings, if those are applicable, they're gonna adjust those to get you a little bit more. So that's where the extra 32 horsepower comes from is the development work that Nisbro has done on the dyno. Now, another big benefit to this is Nisbro very thoroughly tests these tunes. Actually, a lot of times what they're gonna do is they're gonna intentionally break a motor or two. So they're gonna turn them up to the point that the engine fails. They know that this is where we can't go to basically. And then we're gonna work backwards from there. What we get is a very reliable product that's not going to hurt the reliability or longevity of your engine. At the end of the day, adding 32 horsepower to what an engine is already capable of doing is not going to put that much stress on it. It may sound like you're getting a lot because you're going from 200 to 332, but that 100 was already there. And we're just unlocking that and then tweaking all of the little settings to make it that much better. So here at Tampa Marine Tuning, we are using NISPRO flashes to tune these Yamaha outboards. And so you might ask, why NISPRO? Like, how did this come to be, right? So I spent a little over a decade in the automotive space, custom programming, LS and LT motors, so Chevy V8 stuff, right? So I was very familiar with tuning. We had a very good buddy of ours that has a 250 show on a Maverick. And he sent me a link and he said, hey man, I, I wanna use this on my boat, but this product and this company seems cool. Um, and I think you should maybe look into becoming a dealer. Um, we looked into the product and it was really cool. Um, I liked a lot of what they had to offer. It seemed awesome. And so we said, hey, you know what? We're Florida boys. We, we've grown up here. We've grown up on the water. We already have all of this experience from tuning in the automotive world. Why can't we transfer this over and offer a product for Marine? And that's how, kind of how it started. Now, why particularly NISPRO, as far as when we started doing all the research, they've done this for a very, very long time, 15 years. Um, or thereabouts, um, they have a very, very thorough and good process as far as developing these tunes are concerned. It meets even my standards as a custom tuner and all the work I do. And so why would we reinvent the wheel trying to do all of our own stuff or maybe work with somebody else that sells tunes when these guys are the experts, they have the best process for development, um, they have great support on our end and on the customer's end, um, and it's some of the highest quality stuff on the market, and that's why we want to give you this product over any of the others. So a really common question and theme that's gonna come up when you start looking at these tunes is you're gonna think, well, I'm getting more horsepower, I'm getting more torque, obviously I'm probably gonna lose a little bit of fuel efficiency. And that's actually not true. You actually are gonna gain fuel efficiency. Most of our products on average are gonna gain 15% in fuel economy. That's also gonna to translate to 15% increased range between Phillips, which is awesome. Um, and some motors actually do even better than the 15%. It depends a little bit on the setup. And so kind of the way that we're accomplishing this is because from optimizing the settings of the fuel mixture and the spark, the engine's gonna make more torque, right? Torque's really what's driving your boat forward. And so because it's making more torque, you can get driven just as hard and as far at actually a lower RPM range now. You don't have to drive the boat near as hard because there's more available torque to move you. You cruise at a lower RPM and that's gonna directly translate to a fuel savings. Um, and so all of these factors combined when we're talking about efficiency, 
Efficiency is gonna to translate to horsepower, torque, and better fuel burn. So the most common question that we're going to be asked when people start looking at this product for their boat is, will it void or affect my warranty? The simple way to put it is yes. If you reviewed your warranty contract, modifying this engine in any way is gonna technically void your warranty. Now there's some good news. This product is very, very reliable. It does not affect the longevity of this engine or the wear or the maintenance in any way. NISPRO has done a very good job on the development side to make sure that that is the case. So like even in our scenario, um, particularly here at Tampa Marine Tuning, out of thousands of motors, we've only had two or three guys that have had actual major powertrain failures after getting the tune done. And a lot of times in those cases, it isn't even related, and I say a lot of times, but all of the times, it's not related to the tune. Uh, one good example is we have a customer that had a casting fault. He got a crack in his sleeve uh, in his four cylinder. That was gonna happen whether we had tuned it or not. Um, in that particular case, he did get his warranty uh, his motor fixed under warranty. And then we tuned the next one and it's been running great ever since. And so there's always a chance that something could go wrong. If it's not a major powertrain issue, so a major powertrain failure with the power head or the lower unit, if you're looking to get something else replaced under warranty, it typically will still go through and they'll go ahead and replace it for you. But there is a chance that if you have a major powertrain failure and we have tuned it, you may not be able to file a warranty claim. If you have any further questions on this, absolutely feel free to reach out to us directly because we'd love to help you out in any way that we can. So the next question you're gonna have is how much power can I expect? And is that power increase going to require that I change my prop? And the answer is, it depends. We've got a lot of product offerings for a lot of different motors. Some of them will need prop changes, some of them won't. Typically, as a general rule of thumb, this isn't exact, but typically if you're gaining more than 50 horsepower, you're probably looking at a prop change. Now that is going to be dependent on if you're propped correctly in the first place. Great example, we did a boat uh, actually on this trip that, that we've been shooting all this content on, that was already kind of on the rev limiter before the tune. Um, and so the extra 50 horsepower that we gave that engine made it even worse, right? And it just wasn't propped correctly in the first place. It, we didn't get great gains out of it because of that. When he does eventually prop correctly, it's gonna run great. So a lot of times what I'm, we're gonna recommend is we can give you an idea if you're gonna need to do a prop change if you reach out to us. We say try it, know where your numbers are currently, and then go ahead and get your tune and then see what your numbers are after. At that point, you can reach out to your local prop, prop expert that you like to use. Um, we send a lot of our customers to Ken at Prop Gods. Um, he does a really great job. He's super familiar with these tunes and can get you a good pairing as far as props go. Um, but yeah, once you get your tune, evaluate your numbers. Have a prop expert evaluate your numbers and see if there's some improvement that can be made now that you have the tune in your engine. So a really common question as well is going to be, how much power am I going to gain? And it's going to depend. It's going to depend on what style of motor you have, so what displacement, and it's going to depend on where you're at in that displacement lineup. Kick things off, the V8s, they're 5.3 liter V8s. They come in a 300 and a 350. Both of those get tuned to 425. Another common question is guys ask if we have a tune for the 425, and we do not. It's just we take the smaller ones, we give them 425 tunes. There's not a lot of meat on the bone in that particular lineup for us to add any more than the 425. Moving down, your next step is going to be your 4.2 liter V6. And so these engines are going to be all tuned to 332. So that's going to include your 200 show. It's going to include your 225 offshore and show. It's going to include your 250 offshore and show and your 300 offshore. All of those get tuned to 332. Something important to note with the show motors is they're always a little underrated. Now, what I mean by that is they're going to come in a little bit higher as far as dyno numbers are concerned when we actually test them. So the 200 shows really dyno out at like 230. Now you're still gaining 100 horsepower and it's gonna absolutely change the way that particular engine performs. But something to keep in mind when you look at show tunes is the shows are always a little bit hotter out of the box than a regular offshore where the offshores will run true to the number that's on the cow. Now moving down again, our next most common is gonna be our 2.7 and 2.8 linear lineup. So this is gonna be 150 uh, offshore and show 175 offshore and show and 200 offshore. Now this lineup has a couple of variations at play here. So the 150 and the 175 offshores are gonna get taken to 191 or 97 horsepower, depending on if it's a mechanical or electronic control. The 200 goes to 231. The reason the 200 goes to 231 is because it has a variable camshaft instead of a static camshaft that comes in the 150 and 175. Now what's neat about this lineup also is the show engines 
have that variable camshaft from the 200. So if you had a 150 show, it goes to 231. So you get a little bit more power out of it because it's got better technology in it. And so that's kind of a breakdown of what you can expect from our most common and popular lineups. So another common question is, how does this process work? Like, how do I actually get this tune done for my boat? I want to do it. What's next? So there's a couple of different ways that this process is going to shake out. The first one I'll talk about is if you're not local to the Tampa Bay area, or if you don't want to make the trip down or up, depending on where you're at. So you can still get this done if you're anywhere in the country, and really anywhere in the world, to be completely honest. We've done stuff for guys in even the Cayman Islands and things like that. So that process is going to be a remote tuning program. What that looks like is you'll place your order online. Once your order is placed, you get shipping instructions. And all you have to do is take your ECU off of the boat, pack it up, mail it to us. When we receive it, we're going to return it in, within 24 hours. So it's going to get flashed, put right back in the box, and sent right back to you. Realistically, that process, if, especially if you're in the continental United States, should take like less than five days, four or five days, which in my opinion is one of the fastest upgrades you can do to your boat. If you were going to do anything else to your boat, get a new trolling motor, put sea deck on, even do maintenance stuff, your boat's going to be at a marina for a week, maybe two weeks, maybe more, right? And so this is a very, very awesome product that you can get done pretty quickly depending on where you are in the country. Now, if you are local and you do want to utilize us still, what you can do is go ahead and place your order online, select local pickup. Once you do so, we'll reach out to you and we'll set up a date and a time for you to come and bring the ECU by. The process only takes about 10 minutes. A lot of guys go, oh, I'll drop it off, come get it later. And I go, man, if you can hang out for 10 minutes, I can get it flashed and you can just go ahead and leave with it. So we do that for a lot of our local customers or customers from around the state. They'll make an hour, maybe two hour drive in. We'll get it flashed. They'll go back home, put their ECU back on their boat um, and go ahead and hit the water. The big important part of that, if you are a local customer, I don't need your whole boat. You certainly can bring your whole boat if you would like to. A lot of times guys will make a trip out of it to go and fish out of Gandy Boat Ramp or in Tampa Bay somewhere like where we're centrally located. Um, so you could bring the whole boat, but I don't need it. You can literally just bring me this ECU off your engine and that's all we need. As far as where these are located and how to remove them, we have other videos on that as well as instructions on each product page for where the general locations of these ECUs are. If this is something you think would be a good fit for your boat, go to tampamarinetuning.com or contact us with any questions. Thank mm -hmm. you.